Before we start with the sine, cosine, and tangent, your basic trig functions, you do need to make sure that your calculator has the ability to find the sine, cosine, and tangent, and also to do the inverse of sine, inverse of cosine, and the inverse of tangent. You will need that when you are finding, going backwards basically, and finding the missing angle. All of your calculators need to be in the degree mode. If you're using a graphing calculator, the mode is right here beside the second, the blue second button. If you hit mode, you can see in the screen that the degree is highlighted. That needs to be in place before you can find the sine, cosine, or tangent. Now let me show you how to use the calculator. We first want to find the sine of 75. So I just hit sine 75 and it is 0.9659. Usually we round to the ten thousandths place Cosine 150 is negative 0 0.8660. Tangent of 35 is 0 0.7002. Now let me show you how to go backwards basically and find the missing angle. So we're going to start with the sine of 0.9. The sine of the angle is 0.9, so we want to go backwards and find the missing angle degree. In order to do this, anything that is in blue in your graphing calculator, or any calculator, if it's a different color, you've got to hit that button first before you can get that second sine. 0.9 will go inside your parentheses. So the missing angle that has a sine of 0.9 is going to be 64 degrees. Second, cosine 0.7 is equal to 45.6 degrees. At 45.6 degrees, that angle will have a cosine of 0.7. The second tangent of 0.5 is 26.6 degrees. And that is how we use the calculator for the sine, cosine, and tangent. And we're going to be using that later with the applications. Now to start our algebra review, the first thing that we are going to look at is the order of operations. The order of operations were created by mathematicians so that all mathematicians would end up with the same exact answer that allows us to go through the same process and come up with the same exact answer each time. You're going to look at your parentheses, whatever's inside the parentheses, that's what you're going to evaluate first, then the exponents. Remember that the exponents are a superscript number, and that tells you how many times you are going to multiply your base number times itself. Then you go to multiplying any division, then addition and subtraction. There is a little exception. When you are working an expression, if you get down to just having multiplication and division, you're going to work the problem from the left to the right. Same thing with addition and subtraction. If the only thing that you have left is addition and subtraction, you're going to work from the left to the right because they are inverse operations of each other. So let's start with some examples. The first example has a set of parentheses in it. And we are going to solve what's inside those parentheses first. 5 plus 16 gives us 21. The next order of operations step that we are going to complete, we have no um, exponents or multiplication, but we do have division. So we're going to take 21 divided by 7, so that gives us 3. 
And the last thing that we have, the last operation, is subtraction. So 3 minus 2 is 1. Example number 2 has a little bit of difference in it. Notice we do have parentheses. The X does stand for multiplication, and as you see later on in some of the examples, the X is now going to stand for unknown variables, and we'll get to that shortly. 35 over 5 is a fraction, and it also means division. We are still going to work with the parentheses first, so we have to go 8 plus 5 is 13. You do have to do multiplication before division, but this is one of those exception rules because 35 over 5 is actually a coherent fraction, so we need to solve that first to simplify it. 35 divided by 5 is 7. Now we can continue on with the order of operations. We are going to finish and work on the multiplication first. So we have 13 times 7 is 91, and 91 plus 6 is 97. So our final answer to that equation or expression would be 97. Example number three in order of operations use evaluating expressions is the following, and notice we have pretty much everything in this one. So we're going to work at the parentheses first. And notice inside the parentheses we have exponents. So we need to evaluate those first. This is your base number. And we are taking 2 squared. That means 2 times 2. And that will give us 4. 2 to the third power means 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. Inside the parentheses, we just have addition and subtraction, so I'm going to go just left to right. 10 plus 4 is 14. 14 minus 8 is 6. After parentheses and exponents, we work on the multiplication. We have 6 times 6 is 36 minus 1, and the final answer would be 35. Now that is just a review of evaluating expressions using the order of operations.